Okay, this is Excalibur Zero here today, and today I'm going to show you how to make a sand trap in Mind Test using the Messy Cones mod. Now, um, uh, let me just turn the sound off. Okay, um, right here you can see um, pretty basic um, desert-ish area. It's kind of surrounded by other biomes, but the important part is the desert area. Now here I have set up a sand trap, and it may or may not be obvious to you. Um, it is revolving around this right here. Now um, how it works basically is um, oh, I'll just show you it first. So so one dig this block or any of the blocks around here really, and they fall into a giant pit trap like this and there can be water in there or whatever you want now essentially how it works is first you have a giant pit you can make it in whatever shape or size you want right here i just used um the iron tnts from the new mod to just kind of blast a huge hole down then um let me show you the actual main part of the trap i have here is kind of like a little embankment where I have this switch, which is, was on, and now it's off. So you can see here is ghost stone. And the ghost stone is kind of connected underground to ghost stone, which is here. And ghost stone, if you're not familiar with it, um, when it has power to it, it um, disappears. But when it loses power, it reappears. And um, this is good for you know, sand traps, you can see here. However, you should note that it doesn't... Um, doesn't really work well with liquids as you place a liquid over it when there it's on and the blocks are disappeared the liquid won't flow through it because it still sees a node there but sand will fall through it um so essentially setting the trap um let's see let me just show you some of the deeper parts of it so in here um you have the main kind of um block off area where the trap is and it kind of goes down to here, and then there's a kind of connection of ghost blocks over to here, and goes up through here, goes in through here, and then comes out here. And I put a switch on there so I can turn it on and off. Um, and um, I put a little bit of sand around it so that way it kind of hides it a bit. Um, that, that makes it not look too kind of obvious if you're coming at it from the other direction. So then, um, let me show you uh, how to set it up. So once you have everything kind of, um, it can go down as deep as you want. You can have whatever you want at the bottom. Um, but note that sand will build up as the trap is used, unless you clear it out. Um, and um, if you don't put anything like water to stop the person's fall, then they will um, assume that the it's a person, not a mo uh, mob, would, you know, unless the mob can be damaged by falls. Um, then if they fall and then there's nothing to stop their fall, like water, they will <laughs> die from falling too deep. Um, you can put a torch in there if you want lighting or stuff. Because um, when it pit, the pit opens up, um, lighting doesn't really get updated at all. Um, you can manually update it, like putting lava on there. For instance, um, you can see here, show you two things at the same time. The lava updates the lighting, and you can also notice that it doesn't flow down through because it doesn't consider the, it still considers the ghost nodes to be there because, in a way, they are there, but um, they're pretty much copies of air nodes. However, the lava notices that it's not air, so it assumes that it can't flow through it. Um, and um, essentially, you set up the trap. Um, once it's been activated, um, you um, I'll re um, kind of disable it so that way it's solid. And then you want to cover it with the sand. You like this? Generally, you want to cover it with the sand that same type surrounding it. So if it's in a desert area, you want to surround it with desert sand. But if it's in like a beach sand area. I want to surround it with beach sand, well, regular sand, I should say. And what I like to do is, because you can just cover this up flat, 
and make it uh, even more unnoticeable. But what I like to do is have a little bit of uh, up tent in the middle, oh, kind of a uh, little bit of outstretched of sand in the middle. So that way you know where to activate it and can get a, kind of get a general idea of its range. If you know the range of the trap, you can kind of tell like how far the hole will be. Um, so that way when you go to activate it, um, it's kind of easier to tell if you'll um, trap whatever you want to trap or if you won't. So once you've got it covered with sand like that, um, you have to get some way to have someone um, remove any sand no oh actually first before you do that you have to enable the trap right now the trap is kind of all set up except it is not activated right now it's inactive so if I think up that node nothing happens so what you do to activate it is that's where the switch comes in handy is you flip the switch to on and notice the nodes disappear and it is now active. And um, right now, the only way I really have of activating it is just through. Oh, if actually triggering it is through digging any of the sand nodes near it. Um, you can always come, try to come up with a more creative way of doing that. But right now, we either need to run up kind of close and activate it while you're running, while you're tricking whatever um, it is. That you want to get to fall into the trap, you have to get them over there and then trigger it while running away, or get them to trigger it somehow. Um, note that it um, um, it doesn't just need to be a digging of a node. You can also use, for instance, the placing of a node. I believe, nope, just the digging of a node. I think. Oh. Let me just make sure this is even enabled. Oh, yep. So it looks like it's just the digging of a node. I'm not completely sure though, but. Um, you can test it out if you want. Try it. Um, just doing any type of simple setup like this. Um, there's really not all that much to it. It's fairly simple. Um, I'll note that um, sand nodes will begin to pile up at the bottom as the trap is used multiple times. And you also need to um, reset the trap manually. Um, you could probably come up with a system that like sets it so it's solid and drops sand nodes from above um, but I think that might be a little bit um, more visible this is just kind of a simple way to have it so that way it's not all that visible and easier to use as a trap but um, that's really about it um, you can really customize the trap in any way you want. Um, you could put lava instead of water. You could um, use any type of um, node. Like, for instance, maybe these are the trampoline mod out there. So I assume you could put trampolines down there so that when people fall, they fall and then bounce up. Um, you could make the fall not be very um, large so it won't harm the people there. No, the, the people are mobs that fall into it very much so that way um, it's more it's much more of a trap than a really a way of um, feeding them um, or you can go with what I have here where there's just water where it's pretty much just a simple trap and then the uh, sand clocks at the bottom and that's really just about it you can always personalize it in any way you want or modify it. You can always try different things. You could make it um, inside passages and then have just like a one node passage and then have those entire the entire one node passages passage being a trap. Um, you can make it as large or as small as you want, pretty much. And it's fairly simple. That's about it um, for today. This is Calibre Zero signing off.